welcome to my YouTube channel. What's he up to now? Smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a like. Share it with someone else that might like it. It really helps me and my channel out. I really appreciate it. Well, without further ado, let's see what he's up to now. Welcome again to What's He Up To Now. Well, what's he up to is I'm going to be showing you how I hook up my Parker and what gear I use to hook it up. Before I start getting into that, I'd just like to say I have this guitar stand that I used to put my ovation on and set it for the right height. So all I'd do is walk up to it, didn't need a strap, and I would be wearing my Flying V at this time. I'd walk up to the ovation, play, sing a song, record a rhythm track to play some solo on. I'd maybe do an acoustic solo and then I'd step back and then I'd turn the volume knob on the Flying V and play an electric solo to the acoustic rhythm track. I laid down. Well, that was quite the tap dance, let me tell you. And so when I got my hands on this Parker Fly, I bought used from a fellow musician. I was pretty ecstatic because then I wouldn't have to go through all that tap dancing. So when I bought the guitar from this came with it. It's a, it's basically a splitter box. Or if it wasn't, it says a direct box, but I, and it has I don't use that. But I think they rewired it for this particular purpose. So it says acoustic to PA here. It says Parker cord in. And it says to electric amp. So he marked it out easy to easy enough to follow. So the first we're going to go the Parker cord in. And what that means, Parker cord in, is let me show you. Here we have two cables. One has one line, one has two lines. Well, to get the full function of the Parker, we're going to use a stereo cable. And that's going to plug in, one end is going to plug into the Parker, one end is going to plug into here where it says Parker guitar in. So let's do that. Plug the Parker cable in, which is right here. Plug that in, and the other end of the cable will be going to the Parker Fly when I do my performance setup. That will be going to the Parker Fly. So now out of the splitter box here, we're going to plug a cable into the PA, out to the PA, and then from there, going to plug in to the input of this Boss RC5 looper I showed you in the last video. Input in there on the top one. And then we got that hooked up. Now from there we're going to go with another cable on the output of the looper and the end of this cable is going to go to the PA so this is going to go to the PA from the looper now if you're going to plug any other effects to, to the looper you want to put them in before this you want to put it on this side not this side not the output side. You, I mean on the input side. You want to put it before the input, not the output. So before you go into the sampler or looper, you want to put your effects there if you're going to use any. I'm not. I'm just using it for the acoustic sound coming through the PA. Now, since this is a stereo cable, I'm going to send another cord to the electric amp. And I'm going to plug into here. It says electric amp. And then from there, the only other effect I use, as I'm going to show you here, is a, is a, a wah-wah pedal. Okay, this is just your typical crybaby. 
It's about the only thing I use for effects. And it's just a wah wah pedal basic, don't have to explain that to you. So we're going to plug into the wah wah pedal, into the input that says instrument. Now, on the other side of the wah wah, we're going to use a regular guitar cable. And we're going to plug that into the other side of the wah wah, and that's going to go to my Marshall amp. Now that's how I hook up the Parker Fly. And that's where everything goes, and that's pretty how easy it is. So, my next video, I'm going to have this all hooked up on the floor, and I'm just going to perform. And when you see me tap my feet, and you hear a recording with no hands, then you'll know that I use the looper. And then if you hear the wah wah, you know what I'm using there. And that's basically all I use, except for the effects on the amp, and what little effects I use on the PA. So, till next time, keep on rocking, and we'll, we'll keep on talking. All right, have a good day. Bye. Well, thank you for watching my video to the end. Well, since you did, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, like, and share if you like this video. You never know what's going to be happening next, so stay tuned. Check back with me and see what's going on. I'll try to post a video once or twice a week to see what I'm to see what he's up to now. Alright. Have a great day. Thank you very much.